All right, so welcome to Vodio PBX, how to optimize your mobile device with Vodio PBX. So today's workforce, customers use a mix of devices, desktop phones, cordless phones, smartphones, cell phones, tablets, PC, typically more than one device can be used with the Vodia PBX. Uh, device twinning is a key feature for your customers. Use the best device at any time, fixed device in the office, at home, mobile device, when in the car or off site. Mobility and productivity. Nearly all employees have cell phones today. Let's use them. Stay connected anywhere, anytime. You're connected wherever you go. Admins can easily add mobile no numbers to the PBX on the fly. Remote users can work from home or office. Users can enjoy the benefit of all the features Vod Vodia PBX has to offer. How it works. Cell phones can be associated with extensions, similar to SIP VoIP phones. They can be used to receive and make phone calls. However, the call is not routed natively routes through a SIP network. The cell phone typically uses a mobile phone standard like GSM or CDMA. The setting for the cell phone allows you to configure one or more cell phones to your extension. Now, some of you might have not known that, but you can put uh, two cell phone numbers on the redirection on the cell phone, and it will ring both of the cell phones or landlines. Cell phones integration is different from having two phones registered to the same extension. Registering two phones at the same extension allows you to merely receive calls at one or two locations, while cell phone integration allows you to receive calls at any location, as well as be reached at numerous phone numbers. Cell phone configuration allows you to be accessible at all times, even in the event of a power failure, if the office extension or remote extension is disconnected from the system, calls will automatically be sent to your cell phone. Once the phone is reconnected, incoming calls will automatically be routed, rerouted to your extension. How to set up your mobile device. As some of you might know and become already become expert with the Vodia PBX, you'll navigate to redirection and uh, scroll down the cell phone. Here you put your cell phone number. Uh, if you want the uh, feature for controlling your incoming call, you need to uh, turn on offer special menu when a call is answered on the cell phone and set this to yes. This feature will give you the ability to control your incoming call. The VPA, as you guys uh, know, is a virtual private assistant. will ask the user a series of questions on how to handle your incoming call. As you can see, this feature will be useful for ACDs and hunk groups as well. Handling the incoming call. So when an incoming call is coming into your cell phone, uh, a user can press one to connect the call then you'll continue your conversation. Until then, the caller will continue to hear ring back tone. So if you don't press one, the uh, other side will hear ring back, ring back, ring back, and then uh, possibly just go to, uh, to voicemail. If the user presses two, the call gets rejected. The PBX will then apply the rules when the VoIP phone would send a busy signal. In this case, it won't be sending a busy signal, it'll just go straight to voicemail. And that's what they were here. Upon pressing three, the PBX will send the caller to voicemail. When pressing four, the system will prompt the number to redirect to. The number must be terminated with the pound key. Now I use this a lot, especially uh, on the route to work or going home, I get a support call. Uh, so I have these options on how to handle the, the call. So this is extremely useful. I use it every day. I encourage you guys to use it and I encourage uh, have your customer use it as well or sell it has a feature for them. Uh, when pressing five, the call gets parked as if the user accepts the call and then dials the park star code. So in this case, when you press five, end user will hear uh, music on hold. When pressing six, the call is added to the list of the callback number. This is useful to stack up numbers that can be called back on the way home from the car. 
Now, just to generalize, you're probably wondering, okay, when do I hear these, these, uh, these prompts? Um, I added a trailer uh, on the webinar. So basically, a call comes in, uh, you will hear the, the virtual uh, private assistant give you these choices, and these choices are the one I'm talking about here. You will hear these uh, choices, press one for this, press two, press three, and press four, etc. cetera. Um, if you press the digit zero, can be used if the operator account has been assigned to the domain. This is typically an attendant that takes care uh, about incoming phone calls to the domain. So if you don't want to take the call and you have an auto attendant sent or you have a receptionist that can take the call, you just press zero and, uh, and that call will be transferred to her. And this is uh, the, cheat, the cheat sheet. Um, we have this on our website. You guys can download it. You can uh, show your customer uh, how it works. Physically, uh, this is what I went through with our other slides. So if you press one, um, you accept the call and the call is connected. Um, the other option is to press pound pound. When you press pound pound, you'll hear a beep and that beep will give you a series of options. So it will tell you, uh, press one to dial a number and press pound to confirm. Uh, once that call is connected, so now you have one call that's on hold when you press pound pound. That call is holding, it's you're hearing music on hold and you made a second call. That second call is connected. Then you have another option, you can, uh, Confirm whatever you need to confirm with the second call or you need to connect these two calls. So you press pound pound again and you'll get that option again. It'll say press zero to resume the call, press one to dial another number, press two to transfer the call, press two to conference the park calls. So you have two calls on park. You're both hearing uh, music on hold. Park the, uh, a, a conference the two park calls, those two guys are talking. Press four to bridge the park call. So you'll be a part of that call. And then press five to use the callback list to, to add um, uh, uh, another call, let's say to, to the park list. So, and then, you know, you, of course you have press two to transfer the call and press three to use the callback list. So th this is the different scenario, but zero through four would be the, the, the scenario you would be using if you wanted to either bridge a call or uh, conference the two calls or transfer the call to another party if it doesn't get to, if, if you don't want to um, call another person. Um, let's go to, all right, let's talk about DISA, direct inward system access. The basic idea behind DISA, call through solutions, enable an authorized corporate user outside the office to make calls using the author, uh, organization's special low tariff and to capitalize on the direct connection to the different operators. As a result, the company saves up to 40% of the original direct calls. Uh, many of our users use this. I'm 100% sure you guys use it as well to save uh, some funds or, or, uh, or, or have your customer save some money with this feature. It's very useful. The great thing about this feature is that you have control of the costs using the trunk rates. We've added a, a new feature, which is, is not available on the latest and greatest right now. It's basically called uh, Call Me, Call Me Back. It might be called something else before the release, but I'm calling it Call Me Back because that's what it is. So the way it works is the, the extension, the, the cell phone will call the system and the system will say, um, the system will call you back or please hang up, I'll call you back. Then within a series of five to six seconds, the PBX will call you back, then you can make your, your direct, your, your, uh, your DISA call. to save you more time. I, I think of it as a shortcut. So it's not added yet, but it will be added on the next uh, two upcoming versions. Uh, so, I spoke about the VPA, what is a virtual private assistant, and just to give you a run about what it is, once a user's cell phone has been configured as part of the extension, 
the system will recognize the user when the user calls into the system from that phone. Instead of hearing that auto attendant, the user will hear the personal virtual system, which will be presented to the user with a new set of props. These prompts allow the user to make outbound calls, receive call back, go to voice